All right, in this movie, we're going to go over how to draw a PPF. So first, you should know what a PPF is, the production possibility frontier. You're given information in a table about a country that probably looks something like this. So you have different goods, such as broccoli or pizza, and the country chooses between those goods what it's going to produce. So in this example, we have six possible combinations if the country chooses to focus exclusively on pizza then they'll be at point one exclusively on broccoli point six so they're making 25 and zero so literally what we're doing to construct this PPF with this initial information is just taking these points and plotting them on the graph so if we put broccoli on the y-axis and pizza on the x-axis we just have to choose a point here say for a hundred and so that would be broccoli equaling zero pizza equaling a hundred choose a point up here broccoli 25 pizza zero and then we can connect those two points because we have constant opportunity costs when we substitute along the goods it's linear so here when broccoli equals 20 we know that pizza also equals 20 and that would be 0 0.5 this is 0 0.6 0 0.1 you can do 15 broccoli equals 15 pizza is 40 0.4 3 2 and 1 as you go across. So that's how you would plot the information giving a linear curve. We can also look at an example where we have a nonlinear curve. So this is going to be a little bit more complicated but if we just add in these other boxes like this difference column where we calculate the difference between broccoli and the difference between pizza not only can we calculate the opportunity cost but well, this will also give us the slope between the lines so again here on our x-axis we're gonna have pizza and on our y-axis we're gonna have broccoli just like before but now when we make those initial points we can't just connect them like we did before because we don't know if it's a linear relationship between the two so let's skip this right here and show the difference between these two is 10 6 4 3 and 2 and so the way I'm finding that is just by subtracting 0 from 10 gives us a difference of 10 10 to 16 a difference of 6 and so on and so forth do the same for pizza a difference of 5 10 15 30 and then 40 so we're starting here with broccoli at 0 and pizza at 100 and we want to find the slope of that we take the rise which is going to be 10 over the run which is 5 gives us a slope of 2 so we have some pretty steep line coming out from where broccoli equals 0 and pizza is 100 we go to the next point we get 6 over 10 which is equal to 0.6 that's our opportunity cost for a pizza the inverse of that 10 over 6 is 1.667 that gives us the opportunity cost of broccoli so our slope changes from 2 to 0.6 we get to the next term difference of 4 that's how much broccoli we're getting we're giving up 15 pizza so that's 0.2667 the inverse of that is 3.75 so 0.2667 is a little narrower actually these are going to be a lot longer next 3 over 30 gives us 0.1 so we're getting 3 broccoli but we're having to give up 30 pizza 
the inverse of that is going to be 10, the 30 over 3. And so our last opportunity cost of pizza is going to be that 2 over 40. So we have to give up 0 0.05 broccoli in order to get a pizza. And that slope is very close to 0. The inverse of that is 20. We have to give up 20 pizza to get a broccoli. And so you can see that when we have opportunity costs that increase as we specialize more in the good, as you can see here, as we produce more and more pizza, the opportunity cost for pizza goes up. So that's telling us that specializing is bad. But as we get towards the middle, a combination of goods, the opportunity costs are a little lower. So when we have this bowed out nature of the PPF, that's telling us that we shouldn't really specialize. We should use combinations of the goods.